Welcome to Tough Talk Christian Radio. Tough Talk Christian Radio is for those who want to share and receive expressions of faith that will help take you to the next step in your relationship with Christ. Tough Talk Christian Radio is brought to you by the Tough Talk Radio Network. Now here's your host, Tony Gambone. Okay, welcome to the show. My name is Tony Gambone, and uh, it's uh, Tough Talk Christian Radio here on Thursdays every week from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time on the Tough Talk Radio Network. Always excited to be on the air. Always excited to be meeting new people around the world that come on the show and really super excited about being able to provide a platform for my listeners to learn more about how they can improve in their walks of life. Now, you know, I do a show on Wednesdays called Workshop Wednesdays, and, it, uh, you know, we target the small business owners as solopreneurs and the entrepreneurs. And um, Tough Talk Christian Radio used to be called Tough Talk with Tony Gambone, and I know that we still have a lot of small business owners that tune into our show, and I think it's awesome because I believe that, uh, well, I believe God uh, just played on my heart so that I would be sure to turn my show into a platform that will be able to share more messages out there with more people. Now, you know, here at Tough Talk, uh, I have uh, created a compilation book called Share Your Message with the World. And and I'm talking about that today because it kind of reflects a little bit about what we're talking about here today on the show with our guest. And we'll bring them up here shortly. But I just want to talk about that book. You know, Share Your Message with the World is a book that I decided to do. It's a a book compiled of uh, uh, close to 30 authors in it. And what it was was people sharing their stories in life, their testimony, how they got to where they are. You know, what looked like a bumpy road all their life just turned out to be a road that had some speed bumps in it. But we never realized that until we write it down. Okay, and we never do uh, recognize a lot of the blessings that we've had, a lot of the things that we've overcome, uh, until we write it down and look back. It's kind of like sitting down with that relative or that friend you went to school with 20 years later, and you hadn't seen each other, and you're reminiscing, and you start laughing. You get that stupid laugh. You know, it was really funny things that you did that you forgot about. I mean, we just don't remember. Life's busy, especially in today's world. It's fast. It's noisy. It's loud. And we're in a hurry. And we have children. We have spouses. We have jobs. We have neighbors. We have community. It's just like really fast, right? And then they throw that smartphone in there. And it seems like we never look up uh, unless uh, the horn's blown and the car behind us. So the thing of it is, what I found was when you are able to share what you've done in your world, in your journey in life, um, from the time that you can remember back to one of the things that stood out the most to you, and take it down that road. Start writing that down. Today we're going to talk to a lady named Kay Bran- uh, Bransford, who's going to talk about you know, um, organizing your life a little bit, uh, knowing more uh, about what goes on in your life, You know, uh, trying to keep track of it. Most of us as uh, husband and wives or, you know, single parents, we just do the best we can with what we have. At least that's our story and we're sticking to it. We just do what we think we have to do at the time. We Sometimes, we're you know, we have this really good excuse. You know, life gets in the way, we're busy, blah, 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 right, all those things. But the truth of the matter is if you take time out for things that are important and make them important, you will see how you still have time left over in your day troll around on Facebook to watch Dancing with the Stars or whatever it is that you do to relax. But it's really important to balance out your life and make sure that you have things in the right perspective. What I found is uh, in the book, uh, Share Your Message with the World, uh, you know, it came out and it became an international bestseller in five hours on Amazon. Super excited about that because uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not an author by no means, and, and never did I ever think I was going to write a book, let alone get 28 other authors to write their stories in a book. And the thing of it is, is when I read the book, I was really uh, I was really surprised at what I learned. Okay, One is I had the ability to do something that I never even imagined, and, and I had the ability to uh, allow other people to gain uh, the empowerment they deserve for the journey that they've taken. I allowed uh, other authors to empower others from their stories. I was able to sit down with people and allow them to tell the real story 
Not the one that sounds good. Not the one that you want everybody to know at the dinner table when you're having dinner with guests. Uh, the truth. The real truth. The, the things that it doesn't matter if they don't like you after they read it. Because most people think if they know the truth, they might not like me. The truth of the matter is they like you even more for being honest. So with that book, I, I was really in, uh, empowered to do another another volume. We have volume two coming out here in a couple months. And, of course, we're putting uh, authors in books all the time because I am really convinced that that's what the Lord wanted me to do, to go out and help people share their messages by sharing mine first. Okay, so if you're out there and you're, and you're uh, on the fence about whether you should write a book, write a book. If you're not sure, write, write a journal. Take a napkin and a pen and just write down some of the things, that, bullet points in your life that you remember that were really, really bright. Not bright with happiness, but just bright with, you know, oh, I made it through it. Or it was fun. You know, uh, maybe you had a child that got married and it was a big wedding and there were all the ups and downs and how you got through it. Remember that, because when everything comes along in your life, ups and downs, good, bad struggles, all those things happen, there's always a happy ending, okay? And, you know, we just never take time to look at it because we're busy complaining about what we have to go through. So just know if your day is going a little bit tough today, by the end of the day it will be a whole bunch better, as long as you don't quit on the day. And if your marriage is in, on, on shaky grounds, Make it a point to steady the ground. Be the leader. Whether you're the man or the woman of the relationship, it does not matter. What matters is that you take the first step to make things better. If your job's a little sketchy, if you're having trouble with your children, if you just aren't having a good day with yourself, make it make it better. You have the ability to stop, take a deep breath, look up to the Lord, ask Him for His help. Lean into him and be a better person. When you're willing to do that, you will see that things get better. Now, I've got to tell you from my own experience, life seems to get harder and harder every day. I mean, it just does. And, you know, the more I try to uh, lean into the Lord, it, it seems like the more resistance I get. And they, I guess they call that Satan power. I don't know. But the thing is, I know, is if I stay committed, I make it through today. And And when I make it through today... I have to remember tomorrow that today is gone. Let it go. And that's hard for me. How about you? Are you easy to let it go and just move on to the next thing? Or do you do you carry over? You know, do you do a carryover? You know, well, Monday was really a bad day, but I'm still carrying all that information with me, and it's already Thursday. If you're doing that, um, I'll ask you what my wife asked me. How's that working? It doesn't work very well. Let it go. Be better every day. And if you practice that, well, you know, you'd be surprised. It's just like if you're not a baseball player, but you practice swinging a bat every day, the bat will become an extension of your arm just out of habit. So if you practice new things to make yourself better, who knows what could happen? You could become better. It's worth a try. You can call into the show at 347-989-1363. You can press 1 if you want to ask a question, or you can just dial in and listen by phone if you're heading out of your office and you can't listen to it on the computer right now. You can find us at toughtalkradionetwork.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, any social media site. Just type in Tough Talk Radio Network in Google Search or Tony Gambone, and we'll come up. We're moving out wider and wider uh, to, uh, you know, you can find us on iTunes. Uh, We'll be up on iHeartRadio here shortly. Things are really taking place here at at Tough Talk Network. And we're all really excited about it because when I first started doing this eight years ago, uh, I had no prior experience. So what I've learned out of all this is if you stay committed to what you want to do and keep growing and learning, anything's possible. You could even make money at something that you think was just your hobby. My show today is... is, uh, well, we've got some special guests, Kate Bransford and Dan Farron. And we're going to uh, take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to talk first to Kay, who uh, she's the chief curator of Memory Bank. And, uh, you know, she. this is something I'm, I'm really interested in hearing more of, okay, because when I read stuff that says that she's now the modern-day Paul Revere, 
that gains my attention. Okay, and I know that um, for me, when I hear memory, I go, "Oh, I wish mine was better." So you know, if you're that person out there that writes notes to remind you to read your other notes, this might be a good show for you. If you're someone out there that's listening and you don't take the time to document the right things in your family, in your financials, in your daily day, this would be a great show for you. Also, Dan Farinell is the, uh, well, he's written a book called The Quest for Marriage. It's an offbeat, uh, unorthodox, and humorous guide for Christian men looking to get married. So that'll be a good interview as well. So stay tuned. We're going to take a uh, commercial break, refill your coffee, get a bottle of water, and make sure that you get a piece of paper and pencil. You're going to want to take notes and reach out to our guests. So we'll be right back right after this here commercial. Listen to The Legal Eagle and The Coach each Wednesday from noon to 1 p.m. on Tough Talk Radio Network. Leading local and national experts in business will share their keys to success so that our listening audience can be educated and entertained along the way to becoming all they can be. So whether you're new to business or highly experienced, The Legal Eagle and The Coach with hosts David Alterburn and Brian Kaiser is a great radio program for you. For more information, go to LegalEagleAndTheCoachRadio.com. Live a choice where your imagination becomes your reality. If you can imagine it, it's possible. If you can believe it, it's yours. We get it. You're done with the way it is now. You're finished with all the frustration around why you feel stuck and your life isn't working. Imagine what your life would be like if you could have all the answers and see new possibilities. We at Live at Choice choose to make a difference. Live at Choice has developed a proven process and a series of questions that lead participants to the answers they seek, gaining new understanding and self-awareness for both your personal and professional life. If you're ready to get to the life you want, contact us today. Visit liveatchoice.com to get started. Imagine taking your business to the masses using proven marketing techniques. What if you could take what you love and turn it into a six-figure business in the next two years? Or a $500,000 business in the next three to four years? Michelle Sism went from struggling to build her coaching practice to doing half a million in her business in less than four years when she uncovered the secrets to converting audiences to clients. In Cash In on Your Expertise, Michelle shares the exact strategy she used to build her business so quickly. Get your free copy today at www.cashinonyourexpertise.com. Okay, welcome back to Tough Talk Christian Radio. My name is Tony Gambone. I'm here every Thursday from 9 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time here on the Tough Talk Radio Network. If you're looking to find out more about the network and the list of shows that we do weekly here or to be a guest, a host, or even a sponsor of the shows, you can go to toughtalkradionetwork.com. You can always email me. My personal email is tony at tonygambone.com. Always looking forward to meeting new people and finding out what they do and how I can learn to help them. My first guest is a young lady by the name of Kay Bransford, and she's the chief curator of Memory Bank, and we're going to find out more about that. She left her left the role as a senior executive in a Fortune 200 firm to help care for her ailing parents. There's a lot of us out there that uh, are getting ready to experience this or already have. In the process, she created a system that would help families organize important documents, accounts, and assets, as well as navigate some of the legal roadblocks that were unexpected and impacted her ability to help her parents. So uh, without wasting any more time, Kay, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Tony. I'm glad to be here. Now, you know, Kay, um, as part of our business at Tough Talk is we run business networking groups locally here in Texas. And, you know, I meet people who um, who work in senior care communities and, and work with seniors. And, you know, and, and sometimes we take on responsibilities of taking care of our parents as they get older, and we, we don't realize the work involved in that. And so that's just on the health side of it, on, on the daily care side of it. The, the other part that you're talking about is probably as important, if not more important, is having all the information done properly so that people have access to it. Um, can you tell us a little bit of the struggle that you ran into not having that information? 